Welcome back uh, to NSC Closing Bell. Looks like we're going to have a pretty strong ending to the day's trade. 145 points higher on the Nifty. And the mid-cap index looks like it's going to end well up about six-tenths of a percent. One of the stocks in focus this afternoon is Excide. Very good set of numbers coming through. The stock, in fact, has gained almost 50% in uh, 2023 alone. So looking quite good. A revenue growth of almost 14%. EBITDA has gone up about 16%. And the margins are largely stable, you'd have to say. 11.4% versus 11.2% and the net profits have gone up about 12%. There are some updates on the business as well. Uh, in Excide Energy Solutions, that's the company's focus area now. The company will be investing <coughs> an excess of, uh, in excess of about 1,100 crores in that business. They've already invested about 1,530 crores in Excide Energy Solutions. So that is the focus area for them. But uh, Deepak Shanoi is still with us. Deepak, any thoughts on stocks like Excide, Amara Raja, good numbers coming through? And, you know, most of these companies are now transitioning and, you know, sort of looking at the EV space very closely, the renewable energy space, that is. Uh, any thoughts here? Uh, yes, Sonia. In fact, I, we own some of them, so very biased. But uh, two things have to happen on the electric side of things, I think. One is the standardization. Uh, one of the reasons why car batteries are uh, generally between Amar Raja and Excide, kind of that's the whole market, is because they're all mostly standardized in terms of size, in terms of connectors and so on. Uh, we haven't had that level of uh, standardization with EV so far. Uh, definitely not in cars, but also not uh, in two-wheelers. So uh, to that extent, when they build factories, they will have to custom make batteries for every vehicle manufacturer and they can't really take advantage of their own distribution networks, which they've created for so long with the regular uh, lead acid batteries. So there is that that is a, that is a going to need a trigger point for in terms of standardization. But I, I think that will happen in the next decade. I will also I also believe that uh, uh, battery manufacturing in India will be will be given impetus by the government themselves. So we will see a lot more uh, uh, activity from a, from both the regulatory standpoint and the government uh, kind of, you know, incentive standpoint as well to uh, buy local at least uh, uh, part of the battery equipment. There'll be battery management systems that may sit on top. So I am positive on the long-term fundamentals of the business. Right now, they don't seem, you know, the growth does not seem that attractive, but I think it will come in the future. We haven't seen great auto growth as well. Uh, but I think that is also going to come in the future. So uh, preparing myself for uh, uh, the longer term, and I believe, you know, this is a good time to, uh, you know, build positions in these stocks. I am uh, personally invested. I mean, as a PMS also, we are invested. So biased in that thing. But I, I'm, strong, I'm strong on fundamentals, uh, low debt uh, uh, in general, and uh, uh, an interesting trigger point ahead. That's, that's the summary here. Deepak, thank you very much uh, for joining in.